Today, I want to show you Girl Next Door. Let's get started with the video. Counting down the days of his senior year, Matthew can't think of anything memorable about his high school life. As he looks at his classmates, he fights his jealousy by thinking about getting into his dream school and all the sacrifices he made to get there. He's pulled back into reality by the school bell, still alone. With the prom just around the corner, all the seniors gather at the gym. Matthew is introduced as the student council president and the crowd goes silent. With a scattered applause, he announces that the school has successfully raised $25,000 for Sam Nang to go to their school. Without any help from them, the entire class cheers as they play his video greeting. Once he arrives at home, he picks up the newspaper when he notices a new car in front of his neighbors. He dismisses this and heads inside, where he greets his parents' friends. Matthew explains to them how he needs to impress everyone with his speech in order to win the scholarship and go to Georgetown. His parents have nothing but pride in their eyes. While taking out the trash and practicing his speech later that night, he spots the gorgeous woman getting things from her car. Obviously mesmerized, they meet eyes, causing him to crash. She flirtily smiles at him before heading inside. Matthew immediately calls Eli from his room, telling him all about his encounter with the girl next door when she enters her room. Astonished, his eyes are glued as he watches her undress across the window. She turns around and sees him, making him crouch in panic. Just as he thinks he's already safe, he hears her footsteps towards their house as well as the sound of their doorbell. His heart starts to beat fast when his parents eventually call him down. Believing that he wasn't caught, Matthew sighs from relief as they only introduce him to Danielle and asks him to show her around. He awkwardly tries to break the silence, but he suddenly stops the car. She asks him if he likes what he saw, and Matthew tries to reason out before apologizing. However, Danielle has a different apology in mind. With only his briefs on, he stands in front of the car with the lights pointed at him. As if this isn't enough, she instructs him to remove his last piece of clothing. Matthew has no choice but to oblige, not knowing that she will drive off and leave him naked in the street. After a few tries, Danielle eventually lets him in, while charming him with her laugh. They spend the rest of the night in the diner, talking about being single and life in general. When she asks about the craziest thing, he tries to come up with something, but fails to give an instance. She seems to know his type, and encourages him to find a girl who will push him to do more. Matthew looks at her, thinking that she could be the one. Slowly, Danielle takes him out of his comfort zone. She fetches him in the middle of a school day, and they drive to wherever they feel like. As they spend more time together, Matthew tells her about Sam Nang, and how he raised the money to send a genius to their school. She watches him talk passionately, then suddenly instructs him to come with her. Matthew is still clueless when they stop at a random house and Danielle starts to enter. Even though they don't know if anybody's home, she starts undressing anyway. He attempts to stop her, but decides otherwise as soon as he sees her body. He follows her into the pool, confessing that it's the craziest thing he's ever done when the lights inside open. Matthew starts panicking as he realizes it's his principal's house. She tells him to relax, and they both get out in time. Eli is forcing Plitz to watch with him when the doorbell rings. He opens it, only to see Danielle in a wet crop top. She teases him before Matthew appears and introduces them to each other. Eli continues to stutter as he points her to the bathroom. As they watch her walk away, both of his friends can't help but feel jealous. Accompanied by Danielle, all eyes are on them while they head inside the party. Hunter spots her and immediately walks over while instructing his friend to take Matthew out. He almost does what he's told, but thinking about her getting cozy with someone else gave him the courage he never thought he had. He approaches them, grabs Danielle, and kisses her hard. She reciprocates, and they stay like this for a while. The next day, Matthew is crushing and still on a high when Eli drags him to the video room. He then forces him to watch a tape where they discover that Danielle is an adult star. He quickly walks away and Eli catches up to him and begs him to forget about liking her and just do it with her. While on their date later that night, Matthew listens to Eli's advice and brings her to get a room at a cheap motel and spend the night. 
As soon as they enter, she starts acting like a professional, stripping slowly and seducing him. He panics when he realizes that she knows all along. She walks away and Matthew tries to catch her. Fighting back the tears, she tells him that she thought he wasn't like the others, then walks away. Set on making up for what he did, he bravely knocks on her door. Matthew rambles about not thinking clearly and goes on with his apology, not knowing that Danielle has company. She asks him to leave, and he has no choice but to oblige. Kelly follows him outside and introduces himself. Feeling threatened, Matthew tells him that he's going out with Danielle. At this moment, she steps out, looking hot and mature all of a sudden. Not wanting to leave them alone, Matthew invites himself to join. They arrive at the strip club, and Matthew tries hard to blend in and act normal. He continues to ask for a chance to talk about things with her. She thinks about it, but seeing him desperate to see someone else, Danielle gets up and storms away. With only the boys left, Kelly acts like his friend and assures him of his help. He then notices his parents' friend and attempts to hide from him. Instead of helping, Kelly even calls Mr. Peterson over. Moments later, there they are, trying to have a normal conversation while getting lap dances. As they're required to watch an outdated tape about sex education, Matthew and his friends talk about Danielle, as well as how they could do a better and realistic version of it for the students. Just outside the school, he notices Kelly talking to a bunch of girls. He calls them over and builds them up while continuing to charm up the girls. Right as they were totally invested, he suddenly invites the boys to go and leave them wanting more. Kelly then sees Hunter's group meet up with the girls and state that having them on film would easily be a blockbuster. Kelly continues to charm everyone. As they deposit the money for Sam Nang, he's introduced as his student advisor, and he gets on the cashier's good graces by flirting with her. A few days later, he sees Danielle packing up her bags and preparing to go away. He tries to stop her, but she's determined to accept her path is her fate. He watches as she drives away with Kelly, thinking about what he can do. Accompanied by his two best friends, Matthew decides to drive up to Vegas and go after her. They go with the flow and enter the convention, where they're greeted by a parade of adult stars. They continue to walk around until they see her on stage posing for the cameras. While everyone calls her by her screen name, Athena, Matthew joins the crowd and calls her by her real name. When he finally catches her attention, he starts to apologize and confesses his feelings. This catches her off guard, making her exit the stage. He insists on talking even when she tells him to go away. Suddenly, Hugo arrives greeting his favorite girl and inviting her again to join his team. At this moment, Kelly appears interrupting their conversation. Once Hugo's gone, Matthew tries to talk about taking her with him. Instead of agreeing, she tells him to go home before storming off. Kelly then invites him to go somewhere else. Once alone in an empty room, Kelly finally reveals his true colors. He threatens Matthew to stop interfering with his business and leaves him stunned. Betting on his last chance to save her, Matthew walks up to Danielle and tells her that he knows who she really is before handing her a piece of paper. As he walks away, she looks at her drawing and thinks about the time they spent together. The day for the scholarship dinner has come. As he absent-mindedly goes over his notes, someone knocks at his door. His face lights up upon seeing her, offering him a ride to school. Before going in, Matthew asks her to be his prom date, to which she sweetly agrees. In the middle of class, Kelly suddenly appears and drags him away. He follows his instructions, but begs him to bring him home before 6 p.m. During the ride, he reveals that Danielle not showing up has cost him 30 grand, and that he should pay him. He then stops, taunting him into blowing him as a payment, before giving him a few hard strikes. Kelly then offers him pills. Matthew naively takes it, before being told that he has to do a thing in order to go home. Kelly tells him about how he and Hugo were old partners until he stole his idea and made millions from it. He then tricks Matthew into breaking and entering, instructing him to get a trophy for their freedom. Believing that this is the only solution, Matthew hesitantly agrees. As soon as he's inside looking for it, Kelly betrays him, goes out and calls the cops to report a burglary. On the other hand, Matthew passes by a sleeping Hugo before finally spotting the trophy. 
He's approaching to grab it when a parrot surprises him. Soon after, Hugo appears and tells it to attack him. Still holding the trophy, he struggles to escape, only to see Kelly driving past him as well as the police coming. Matthew barely escapes and calls his friends for backup. As if being late to the dinner of his life isn't enough, Danielle reveals that what he took was a party drug that's kicking in. He tries his best to compose himself, but Matthew is full of self-confidence as they enter the ballroom. Still high by the time he comes up to the stage, he decides to throw his notes and wing his speech. With everyone's eyes on him, he talks about moral fiber based on his recent experiences while gazing at her the entire time. Much to their surprise, his speech received applause and a standing ovation. By the time of the announcement, Matthew has already settled down. His world slowly crumbles down when he doesn't hear his name, knowing that he's the only one to blame. The next morning, problems continue to pile up as he discovers that Kelly has withdrawn the money for Sam Nang. With his life depending on it, Matthew begs the cashier to spare him and give him time. She gives him until Monday to return the money, or else he will go to jail. Lost and hopeless, he seeks comfort with Danielle. She then offers him her services, knowing that it's the only way to earn quickly and easily. With a plan in place, they invite the stars for their show. Danielle's friends fly in, eager and ready to help. Next would be to acquire capital. After returning his trophy and explaining the plan, Hugo agrees to the partnership. Together with his best friends, they walk over and fetch their dates for the prom. With cameras all over and mouths dropping to the floor, they commence with their plan. Eli directs his minions to get the best possible shots. All heads are turned as they arrive. They successfully sneak in the cameras, telling the officials that it's for yearbook purposes. With everything going as planned, Eli and Klitz take April and Ferrari to set things up, while Matthew proceeds to lure their actors. Upon confirming that they're adult film stars, Hunter and his friends immediately accept the offer of being movie stars. He asks them to sign their contracts and leads them to the shooting location. The doors open, revealing every man's fantasy. With his role already done, Matthew goes back to the party and dances with Danielle, while the rest of the group go on to film their masterpiece. With the key scene coming up, the group faces trouble as the actor can't get his junk going. Determined to sell this to Hugo and clean up after his mess, Matthew volunteers for the part, even though he knows his face will be shown. After getting ready, Matthew is about to walk out the door when he sees Danielle's kiss mark on his hand. He thinks about her and their moments together, realizing that he can't do it. When she walks in and he sees how they look at each other, Klitz decides to take one for the team and accepts the part. As he nervously takes his spot, April comforts him and tells him he's really cute. They continue to flirt until Klitz is full of confidence and he's ready to play the most vital role. With cameras still on them, they walk out of the prom with full smiles and take the party to the limousine. As he watches his friends have a good time, Matthew looks content and happy. Once they're alone, he decides to do what he's been dreaming about. He softly kisses her before they passionately make love. Without taking their eyes off each other, Danielle gets on top of him and he slowly eases inside. They both finally feel how it's like to do it for real. Still on cloud nine the morning after, Matthew unexpectedly receives a frantic call from Eli telling him that the tape's gone. As soon as he goes inside their house, he sees Kelly holding their lives in his palm. Once they're alone, he faces him and sits across the table. At this moment, Matthew reveals his partnership with Hugo. He adamantly declines on Kelly taking half of the sales and he threatens to show the tape to his parents and principal. Matthew nonchalantly tells him to do whatever he wants. Everyone's holding their breath as Kelly plays the tape. Instead of the expected dirty film, what Matthew and his friends were filming was actually a sex education tape set in the real world. Their yearbooks come out, and Matthew can't help but think about all the good things that he'll remember, from having the best of friends to making millions through a best-selling sex education tape to finally bringing Sam Nang the genius, and most importantly, to making it to his dream school with his dream girl. High school really is 
the best time of your life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button.